Forever and ever. Let the rich child of God say amen three times loud. Shout the Father. Every battle program ahead of me this week. Scatter by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Every battle program against me, against my life, against my family. My going out and coming in. I terminate it. I cancel it. I paralyze it. Thank you, Father. We pray in Jesus' name. Clap your hands as you take your seat. God bless you. You're blessed and highly welcome in Jesus' name. Help me celebrate those watching this live broadcast all over the world. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you. The Lord favor you. Distance is not a barrier. Help me welcome that person by your left and right. Tell him how you're blessed and highly welcome. Hallelujah. I'll clap those hands again for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Why our son this morning is blessed and sure and Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine, hair of salvation. Purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. It's in our Easter hymn bulletin. We are still singing. Amen. So those of you who have lost your own, you will know how you take money for us. Praise God. Today is your first time watching with us. You have been with us in any of our program, but this is your first time on Sunday morning, watch me with us wherever you are. Stand to your feet. I want to welcome you. I want to appreciate you for being my guest today. Anybody like that? This is your first time on Sunday morning, watch me with us. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. There is somebody there. There is somebody. There are people there. Hallelujah. Take everything you brought to the church. We have a seat by my left side. I believe it's more convenient that where you are. We love you. We appreciate your coming today. Take everything you brought to the church. Let's clap those hands again to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you. Do for you that which you can't do for yourself. And I believe you will not live here the same way you came in Jesus' name. Clap those hands again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. As you join us to offer him praise, this month of praise, the Lord honor you in Jesus' name. Now, take note, uh, our June program is just approaching. I don't know, the month is just moving like this. Amen. Because normally, first week of May, we will start, we will allow people to start getting their mantle for the program the month of June. Am I correct? That has have been the way it's being done. I think maybe next Sunday, I will show you our color this year. So that those who are, we start early because of those who are distant members, so that they'll be able to order for it. They can also get it. If you look at, remember last year, we got some people, they were showing those who are viewing from Italy, from America, from different parts of the world. And though, even within the country where we are, those who are distant members. So that's why we allow you to get it on time, one month to the program. So I think from 5th of May, we'll allow you to start getting the mantle. I believe by then it's already set that you can have it for program. Praise God. And this year our team says, finally, the Lord has done it. But this year, somebody's testimony will shock somebody. Yeah, the team say, finally. At last, at last. And I bet that's how somebody, some people testimony this year will be. Put amen if you agree to it. So that is it. God bless you. 
Now, let me still say this. I think the end of the service when everybody has uh, is here. Pastor Sid, I want you to take note of this. It has been in my mind for a long time. We have been working on it, but now the thing is set. Amen. We, there's a page we created on YouTube, and I want you to subscribe to that. I wish media can show it to me. What did they give us the name of the, the, the channel now? It didn't give us the name. Yes. Remind TV. I didn't tell you to show any movie there yet. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, Remind TV movies. Now, what is that? I thought you clap. Now, we are, this page on YouTube is just purely on, let me just talk about just entertainment. Because if you look at my Plus TV, it's just about gospel, my, all my preaching, worship. So I'll be having that ministration. Because if you put it on my TV free to air, many of us don't even have the television. And many of us, I discover people do much on their phones now. Am I correct? Because your phone is just on the go. Even if you're on the road, even if you're in the airport, you're in your office, in your business center, you have your data, you can go through it. Praise God. And that's why we decided to make use of this page. So subscribe today because from first, I mean from May, our movies will begin to drop on this page. Now the movies we are doing is not like any other movie you have seen out there. We are creating a special content which is our product. And we are using those on the entertainment industry to do that. Complete Remai TV product. I, you, I know you will like that, and it's important. Amen. Yes. You can say, yes, we want to write, we are trying to create stories that is in line with the gospel. That's what we are trying to create. Something godly, something that is mature. But those who are in the industry that is still the one helping us to handle it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And from 1st of May, our videos will begin to drop on this page. So, when I, you heard me well. Whatever video you are going to watch here is no movie you can get anywhere. It's just purely our product, our material. Are you getting it? So that's why it's very, very different and unique. Not that we are copying any movie anywhere to put there. No. It's just pure movies they produce for this church write it and we look at it probably and say this thing is godly even though they are still the people who are in the entertainment industry who are doing that for us are you hearing what i'm saying and i believe you like it if it's good you subscribe so I, I, so that you can follow up the stories that are coming in series as it's dropping you've been having the the information and you can follow and i believe it it will be stories that will build your spiritual life motivate you even though it's also entertainment are you understanding what I mean there? Yes. It's taking us much, but it's important. Praise God. Because I've been having that ministration for a long time. And I say it's the time for we to take that move. So, subscribe to that. Remind TV movies. Media, can you still put it up again? During the ending of the service, that's the name of that, that channel. So, you can subscribe to it now. So that the moment the movies begin to drop, you go through it and, and at last you can confirm whether you like it or not. So the purpose of YouTube is that anywhere you are, you can go through it. Whether you are in your market, your business area, you can always make use of it. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Remember our Tuesday morning section prayers make our time. Don't just be only Sunday worshiper. Weekly activities are also part of the worship. And the, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I didn't like your amen. amen. Let's welcome the choir as they take over the stage.
five in our bulletin, Easter bulletin, Blessed Assurance.
Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. You are happy to be in church this morning. Celebrate Jesus with a big clap this morning. Come on. Hallelujah. With the wonders blessings, we have a song to bless you. Titled Waymaker. Listen, join us and remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm not gonna let my pain come out praise from my mouth. Oh. Because if I don't praise you, you go still be God. Oh. Now you show me the light when I did for that next. Now you lift me up. When I they follow, I no go let my pain come up praise from my mouth. Oh, na na na, because if I no praise you, you go still be God. Oh, now you show me the light when I they for that next day. Now you lift me up when I they follow.
clap those hands to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet if you are in this hall. Honor God by standing. Hallelujah. You know, something just came into my mind this morning as we are worshiping. I heard a sound of rain outside there, which I know you heard it from the roof. I remember some years ago when we were at the other side. Did you remember anything? <laughs> if at that time they would start pushing chair, pushing chair, you could see the movement will change. But help me clap those hands for the King of Kings. You only notice that rain is falling by hearing the sound. That is all. And there is space for those who are still coming. Whenever they arrive, they'll be able to get seats. Praise God. Because even at that time, those who are in overflow, I, I, I don't know how it will be by now, but don't they think of sharing the grace? To him be that glory. Clap those signs again. For him, I think... That's one of the reasons we offer him praise today. Look at your Bible with me, Psalm 117. To me, I, this is the shortest chapter in the book of Psalm. Psalm 117. He had two verses. Psalm 117. So let's look at that verse 1 and verse 2. He said, Oh, praise the Lord. All ye nations, praise him, all ye people. Now, verse 2, what he said. For his mercy, I come, let's come again, let's come again. For his merciful kindness is great towards us. And the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. Father, thank you. Help us to praise you. Give us the strength to praise you. May we never see situations that will remove praise from our mouth. Just like as the choir have sang this morning. When we keep praising you. In a good time, in a bad time. And may our praises be accepted. And as we praise him, our week be blessed. Things turn around for good. May our year end with praise, not with tears. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. I'm still on that topic. Let's. Give thanks to the Lord. When we came here on Wednesday, we had a lot of testimony regarding to the prayer we prayed. I think at the end I will begin to still talk about that. But we still, why we must appreciate it. I told you when I gave that message, I said, when I'm done, you will confirm. And I said on Wednesday, those of you on Wednesday prayer, I said, this is not just only in Benio. Is something that will hit the world. Now, you heard the news on Wednesday. What happened to those who are into entertainment? And if you listen to that story, you see that this is demon looking for sacrifice. Nothing more than that. Listen, follow the story. Confirm. What just happened was just, there was shows there's an altar asking for sacrifice. And he got five at once. But let's leave that. I pray for you. If they call you anywhere, you will not show up. Did you say amen or something that looked like amen? So we offer him thanks because he's God. Sit down. You are alive today is not because you are better or you pray more than others or you give. You are the highest giver. No. It's God who decided. You know Romans 9 16 he says something. Romans chapter 9 verse 16 he says something. Romans chapter 9. So then, it's not of him that will it, nor him that run it, but God. So it's just the mercy of God that brought you. It's the mercy of God that kept you. We are at the fourth month of the year. There are many who saw, who shouted, Happy New Year. That are no more alive. Not because we are better. Not because we are the best. It's just because he granted us the grace. And his mercy covered us. You deserve a very big time 
You deserve a very big thank you. Lord, you deserve a very big thank you, my Lord. You deserve a very big thank you. You deserve it. This week, you don't go, you don't come back. You travel, travel. That same road you passed, some people passed, they didn't, it wasn't easy for them. But it just passed. You didn't find anything. And that's why we need to offer him thanks. Lord, you deserve a very big thank you. You deserve a very big thank you. You deserve a very big thank you, my Lord. You deserve a very big thank you. The same God guiding you, guiding your children, guiding your loved ones. Not because the enemies are not working, they are working two four seven, trying to get them down, but the more they level, God frustrates them because he did he frustrates the devices of the crafty that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. When I am down, when I am down you are my hope. You are my hope. When I am sick, when I am sick you are my healer. You make a way for me, oh. You, you deserve a very big thank you. You deserve it. If I praise you for nothing tomorrow, you know they know. Upon how, all our shortcuts and mistakes, He does not use it to judge us. You are still merciful, you are still kind. Who never think like man? Who never decide like man? Who does not need human approval to favor anybody or to sustain anyone? Commander that cannot be command. They, they have the whole, the whole universe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When I am down, when I am down, you are my hope. You are my hope. Oh. When I am sick. your prayer that carry you. You deserve a very big thank you. You deserve a very big thank you. You deserve a very big thank you, my Lord. You deserve a very big Delivered you, you call a minor problem. Change somewhere. Somebody went through that trouble and did not come out. You call it common headache. Some people went through common headache and they lost their life. Some people went through bad dream in the night. They were trapped in their dream. They could not wake up. But you dream bad dream. They pursue you. You run from the spirit to the physical and you are standing. Hey. A very big thank you. You deserve a very big thank you. Lord, you deserve a very big thank you. I can go alone. You want to change the more. You deserve a very big thank you, my 
my God, you deserve a very big time. So thank him. There are people who are around you who never believe who you are. Even though they pretend they love you, but only God knows what is in their mind. But that's why you need to thank him. There are many who you thought they love you who didn't love you. Who are thinking otherwise. But yet, God does not allow their thoughts to waste you to become a reality. Some even work out for you. Go bring jam, drop it, you step your feet. After you match it, nothing happened to you. The person that kept the jam is the one that facing attack. Thunder fire devil. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Whatever I am now, it is by your grace. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever I am now, it is by your grace. Listen, no matter what happened, don't we a long face, thank him. He understands, he understands the situation. He can handle it. He's bigger than your trouble. He's bigger than the economy. He's bigger than the challenge you are going through. He's still God. He said, I am the Lord. I change it now. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Whatever I am now, it is by your grace. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever I am now, it is by your grace. Oh my God, your name is lifted up above all names. Your name is lifted up above all names. Your name is lifted up above all names. What a 
for who you are, for what you do on account to grace you, for your mercies upon me, Mama Ibela. For who you are, for what you do on account to grace you, for your mercies upon me, Mama Ibela. Switch your hand. I decree over your life. You will not see what will make you cry. Every altar is looking for blood. They cannot buy your head. Now listen. The key to protection is gratitude. Check the life of David. All his life. Up and go praise. Enemy pursue left and right. 40 years on the seat of Israel as a king. He fought 66 wars. Yet he conquered all. And I pray for you. As you offer him praise. Whatever battle or war that come around you. In advance I declare you victorious. If you say amen you will conquer. You will win that battle. Enemy that after you they will not catch you. Anyhow they set their trap you go jump and pass. Let me hear you shout amen three times. You know one of the reasons why you offer him praise? Some people see like this, but did they pay them? Jehovah Mutshine ke onye ne feri bo tito ni bo kaka. Idi amube, idi oko na ya shine ke. Jehovah Mutshine ke onye ne feri. Chukunasamo <laughs> Jehovah Bushileke, Onye Nefe, Rimoti Tony Bokanga. We offer him praise from the depth of our heart.
No, be say, I reach can make a die for me. Now only love of God. Now they do one for me. He no go be like Jesus right. He no be I never see. You watch a media over him pray. Praise is the strongest weapon to kill your pain. Don't praise him because he's about to do something. Praise him because he has finished work. Thank you, Jesus. I have come to give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. I have come to give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. I have come to give you praise. The Lord has said thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord has said thank you. I have come to give you praise. The Lord has said thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord has said thank you. I have come to give you praise. Say that my son blessed. They only one Things are getting better. Things are getting better. For the Lord is on the throne. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. Do you agree with me? Tell your neighbor things are getting better. Call her back to me. On the throne, things are getting better. Give me your hand. I hear God said, I'm taking over the battle. I'm taking over your battle. Things are getting better. For the Lord, this is all the truth. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. Switch your two hands toward this altar. The Lord told me this week, somebody's heaven will open like never before. If you are the one, let your amen holler there. I say it's a week of blessing. It's a week of favor. It's a week of favor. It's a week of honor. Somebody had a favor. What total? As Robert he prays, you can't be stranded. Thanksgiving or gratitude. Thanksgiving is a multiplier. When you offer God thanks, everything around you begin to multiply. Why are Why are
Idera ano de siko okura ya no kusiko Iya o chuku de nando Manda o bishaya That thing God said about you mama Nobody can change it If they pour out to change it they will die I didn't hear your amen Brother I didn't hear your amen Chidera ano de siko Okura ya no kusiko Ia o chuku de nando Manda o bishaya Okoyanokusiyala, <laughs> Iya o chuku de de nando, mada bogi ya. Where do I shout hallelujah? That was a message God gave me 2022. Hokuwa ya no kusiala, hokuwa ya no kusiala. Akana gori ale, ikuwa ya ni kusiala. Ponye ni ne wanya gamwa, ni pase ni mano genge ya. Chine me mamo, na lebele mo. Ode la no desigo, okuo ya no kusiala, okuo ya no kusiala, okuda la no kusiala. Chine la no desigo, okuo ya no kusiala. Iya unchuku de nando, mara pogi. I'm here to provoke what God said about you. I put my knee on this altar. God promise you as a mother, as a father, as a youth, as you turn that him and treat and may God confirm it. Watch this. I feel it. Look at it. There are three things I want to show you now. They happen when we offer God praise. <laughs> Lord, I confess my love for you. You are all that I am. Now, there are three things I will give you three today. It's about six, dollars. I will give you three today. Three things that take place when we offer God praise from the depth of our heart. Neglecting our pain, neglecting what we are going through, offer him praise, quality praise from the depth of our heart. There are six things that take place, but I will give you three. Number one, he will give you joy instead of grief. John chapter 11, 32 and 44. John 11, 32 and 44. Then, when Mary was come, where Jesus was, he saw him and he fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother wouldn't have died. That's what anywhere you enter, things changes. But verse 44, their prophecy, even though she doubted it, become a reality. And he that was dead came forward, bound hands and foot and with great clothes. And his face was bound about with a napkin. And Jesus said unto them, lose him. When you praise him, he will turn your sorrow into dancing. Samo, 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 Chinemo, Sam, Sam, Sam. Number two, he will give you strength. 
when you are weak. If you are weak and condition has broke you down, the remedy you need is offer him praise. Second Corinthians chapter 12, 8 and 9. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8 to 9. For this thing have besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. Paul was the one saying. In the midst of that pain, he was saying, Lord, I can't bear this. But after all, look at what happened. He said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. And my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. When you praise him in the midst of your pain, he will give you strength. When I am down, my soul seems so weary. When trouble comes, my heart is holding me. I am still waiting here in silence until you come and sit a while with me. He raised me up so. said unto them, cast thy net on the right side of the sheep, and you shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. This week, as you offer God praise, give him your offering, pay your tithe this week, I command the source of that blessing to be open. I don't like your amen the way you say With all your heart, in the midst of pain, when things are not working, now praise be the answer. Pastor, don't praise tired. If you praise and get tired and nothing work on, worked, the answer is that you didn't tune your spirit very well.
Even as a year look like he look at everything is too hard. Listen, I told you, build your covenant very well. Give him your tithe, which is one of the part of it. Give him your offering. Help those who are better than that is the key. No matter how the economy look like, I told you, no matter how scarce or dry the bush look like, the lion can never eat grass. You say you will carry my Lord. You say you will be my God. Oh Lord, I am in your presence to have my own portion. Listen, giving is a key to financial stability. If you want God to strengthen your finance, give him. I tell you, check your Bible. He's more blessed when you give than to receive. Give and it shall be given. Good measure, praise and shaking. Yeah, shall he cost men? Matthew 7 to say, the measure you met, the same measure will return. Galatians 6, 7 say, do not be deceived. For God is no more. Whatever man sow it, that shall he reap. And verse 9 say, you reap what you sow in due season if you faint not. Faint not means say, you don't give, you don't tire. You know they give again. I know they, you don't, you're tired to pay once in a while. No, it's a continuous thing. By the time you finish, I know how you pray. Where I'm not gile, but she ne ke. Where I'm not gile, onye bube. Where I'm not gile, where I'm not gile, where I'm not gile, onye bube. Where I'm not gile, but she ne ke. Where I'm not gile, onye bube. Dalaba, 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 dalaba. You can't look onto him and be ashamed. No. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Follow the rule, and I tell you, men may mock you and reject you, but God knows the answer to what you are looking for. Stretch your two hands. This week, you put your net on the right side. Oh, I didn't like your amen. Remind, I can't hear your amen. As you cast your net on the right side, the net will catch. If you read from beginning to five, they caught, caught nothing until the master met them. This week, because you offer him praise, these hands, these hands, these hands of yours can never return empty. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus conquered the world. Hallelujah, Satan, you are in more trouble. The Lord reigns in my life today. Two hands, you won't return them to you. Those who are on a mission to spoil your own, they will labor in vain. Those who come and say you cannot be better than them, let's watch and see. If God say you'll be at the front, they cannot put you at the back. Put amen now. Open your hands, shout amen if you're expecting money. Oh. Put, put amen loud if you're expecting money this week. Oh. They throw their net. And their net caught something. So this week, I remind you, don't forget your covenant. I say, my covenant will I not break. Psalm 89 verse 34. Or alter the words that have gone out of my mouth. Psalm 108 verse 2 say, the Lord honor his word more than his name. Isaiah 55 says, as the heaven, as the rain, no man can stop the rain dropping. Or stopping the harvest not to manifest, so shall my word be that have gone out of my mouth. So follow the rule. Tell a neighbor, follow the rule. I, I was talking to them in a church I preached yesterday. Two days ago, I went to see a, a man of God. We preach in the same place, a senior man in this nation. We preached in the same church this last week. So I preached before him. 
So when he came, I followed my host to greet him. While we are talking, my spirit told me, say, this is your senior, give him offering. So I gave him a prophet offering. He smiled. He didn't pray. Because when you cast your seed on a good ground, it will germinate fast. And I tell you, it didn't take 24 hours, I begin to see the sign. Did you hear what I said? My spirit said, he didn't ask me. He's a blessed man. Imagine a man, when we are talking, he told me, he was sharing a testimony to me and my friend, how God gave him a land of $1.2 million. So you must understand such man. He doesn't need any, God has raised him. I was like, land, land, $1.2 million. Ah, we never see that land for Benny. You know they here. Because he's in Abuja. I gave him offering because he's a good Listen, if God had spoken to me, I say hey, I'm also a pastor. That blessing will pass me. He didn't ask me. You know, that's why Bible says many led by the Spirit. Apart from releasing your tithe, you must know when to give. Tithe is that you give your one ten. If you didn't get any income, no, you don't need to pay tithe. But you see, when it comes to offering, if you are a child of God, you must have your eye, know where to cast your seed. There are some places you need to cast your seed, but no prophet there to tell you to cast. Now your spirit go tell you if you even get spirit. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? I'm telling the truth. Sit down, sit down. If you get spirit, now your spirit go tell you, say, this is the man in your future. The man of, there are some people I call the man of your future. You are, they, are, they are your destiny carriers. You don't meet them often. You meet them once in a while. At the moment you see them, if they don't look for you, look for wrong, follow them. Because if you miss them, it's like an angel that comes once in a season to stir up the water. So if you miss them in that season, not only God, not the another season, maybe the next season by then you don't get white hair. He don't start the walk. He go finish him. Your own natural relax, follow the rule. Who they mock you, make him mock you. Now with time. How my little Lolo Yanni men? How can no Yan walk away? How my little Lolo Yanni men? How can no Yan walk Some people mock me that time. When I was going to Bible school, I get money, I would go buy a big Bible. One man called me one day and said, Ingwe Uche. Ingwe Uche. Not now, now, uh, computer has finished Bible. You know, because of computer now, Bible will be like, say, the price reduced. That time, if you have text Bible, you have treasure in your house. I go buy Bible, 4,000. The man asked me, how much? I said, 4,000. Ingwe Uche. You know what you mean, Uche? You get sense at all. You, they, you, they, you, they, you don't even get food. You don't get work where they do. If they look for money, you get 4,000. Because that time, 4,000 can still start smoking. He, he, they asked me, he went, he See, yes, he went, he He said, no, I don't, I don't think you have sense. If you have sense, how can you get 4,000? Go 4,000, that, that time looked like 14,000. Go buy Bible. I said to you, you, you look like book, but to me, it's a treasure. It's okay. Some of you know God, that's why I say, hey, church people, Chris, they start with clapping. He say, that's automatically referring, he said, my own mental problem don't start. For me, you know, get what you they do. Somebody, because somebody gave me that money, I think I go buy Bible. He said, you don't see your life. That's why they ask me, he will buy you. I think when you see me today, ask me whether I get sense. You can see that that seed of the world inside of me is giving birth. (laughs) 
And I challenge so many of you here today. I do this, I say this in conclusion. Some of you, you, some mama, sit down, sit down. One minute, let me say this, then I pray. Sit down, sit down. May you hear this one well. Sit down. Some of you, you get so many to match with your coin coat shoe, let down designers bag, but you don't get Bible. Shame. If I say now, raise your Bible. I'll say about here now. <laughs> Some people don't have Bible. Though. Even the Bible, what they have, you don't get Genesis, you don't get Revelation. Because you, 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 with all your to match with that Bible, now one over 100. What? Show me your Bible. Show me. Who say it here? Yeah? So I'm going to say, Pastor, you know, talk I'm before today, oh. <laughs> hey, show me, show me small. Find out, find out. Hey, we. Hey. Now. So I'm not see where they want to find because they don't say, uh, you know, even come with notebook, talk of Bible. Why? Oh, yeah. Oh, you watch in the Oh, you watch in the game. Is here. Some choir member now, their hand dead down. Let me leave that message for you to like that. All your to match, Oga. See your phone now, very big phone. See sisters like this. They check what you wear now, eh? Even go run inside million. But Bible. Hello. You know, get. I pray that this week you repent. Some people shame, they shame you. One day I saw for one market, those days, one of these like worker. Hey, somebody, is, hey, where did they do? Ogwele Bible, 2200. You see, some people go to look for Ogwele Bible. And those Bible will be like, look for bread. If you see, not, you know, those kind of low quality Bible. Hmm. Ask your neighbor, show me your Bible. But wait, but what are when you know great? When you know get, you go begin to tell your neighbor, show me, you go see, tell you, show, show me your own. Shower eyes. Those days I went to one sister house to pray. I was just passing, I entered. I said, Shall we pray? She was happy. I said, I quoted the scripture. I, I have already said it of her, but I don't know what came over me. I said, Sister, read it for me. Your blessing is there. Chuku nonso. I didn't understand. The song ran away. I said, Sister, read it. It's in my way. <laughs> my way. Now, never has you go borrow Bible. And God so kind. The Bible he brought, Genesis has gone. So I said, Genesis chapter 1. If they open, they look at me. I said, read. He said, that the Genesis not there. And I saw that they see from here. I said, no, read now. He said, I go, go. how about Bible today? I didn't go buy Bible yesterday. Uh, I said, you better buy today. As a child, I go, how can they enter your house in you know, the Bible? I tell you. If I don't get any, I get, but even in my office, I get some new Bible where they never open. One birthday, my second son, he said, my give and give, I carry one Bible, give her. He said, but that is it. Or I say, it's all, but it's big. I appreciate it. They look at me. He kind of go put for a pillow. They look out. <laughs> I say, yes, that's your birthday gift. Your blessing is there. I think today, I don't read the Bible. That day, they cry. That is all. I say, that's all. The small one say it's good for you. Read it. Read it. <laughs> Lift up those hands. Give the Lord thanks. Give the Lord thanks. Jehovah, oh you go. Asimigo siromo pieperegio. Jehovah, de. He go si wo me de mage. Jehovah, oh you go. Asimigo siro. You want to give your life to Jesus. Wherever you are, lift up your hand. Let me pray for you first. 
Say after me, say, Lord Jesus, you want to surrender your life to Jesus. You want to know you have not done that. It's important you lift up your right hand. Say after me, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me. Wash me and cleanse me. Give me the power to live above sin. Thank you, Father, for your mercy and faithfulness. In Jesus' name. Put amen loud and clear. And those of you who don't get Bible, I want to pray for you. So that you can. It's a serious matter. Oh my God. Now let me tell you one funny thing. I bought Bible for my children. Most of them, I bought them Bible, their Bible will lost. I buy Bible, the Bible will lost. So when I bought the last one I bought, I gathered them. I said, guys, listen, there is a law following this Bible. Everybody was waiting. I said, any day this Bible lost, those of your fine shoe, now I will collect and I will seize it. And they know I'm serious because I go do and make it pay you. If this Bible lost, two of your pair of your finest shoe will lost. Since then, everybody they handle the Bible with care. Even when we are traveling, all of them carry Bible. I said, oh, boy, keep the Bible. I know so you could miss it. <laughs> yes, yeah, I have to teach them. They need to understand the value. And you, mama, you know, can't get Bible. How, how you want to tell your children? Be sincere. You know, get Bible. Go tell your daughter, go buy Bible. They go, ask mommy, mommy, show me your. You know, children, they have a way they will use that. They talk to you back. Say, mommy, wear your own now. I pray for you. May you buy Bible this way. <laughs> Listen, not be the one for inside phone. Hard copy like this. You hear what I said? Nobody they answer me now. Did you hear me? It's important. It's a part of your weapon. Yes, I don't move without my Bible. Almost everywhere I am, my Bible is there. Even though I don't hold on for my hand. If you ask me for Bible, I can bring a Bible. Not be from phone, no. Like this. And it's important. Let him that have ear. Sweat your hand and bless your weak. Put a man that carry power. And bless your going out and coming in. You will not bow down to shame in Jesus' name. Another amen. The loudest you can. Clap your hands as you take your seat. Lift up your tight one, turn up your income. I rebuke the word of Kanka Oman Caterpillar. I command increase, I command harvest. The Lord favor your weak. I rebuke the word of Kanka Oman Caterpillar. I command increase, I command open heaven. Money will meet money in your hand. You will not labor in vain. In Jesus' name. Put amen now. now those of you over there, sit down. Those of you on this side, let's start again. Even if you use your mobile to do that, come and touch the altar. I connect you with new grace, new wisdom to operate this week and come back with result in Jesus' name. Why I sing? Oh no me, 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 Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. Ah, ah, come on. Say, get it, 
Financially stranded. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Speak to that seed. I release his seed over my project this week, this month, this year. Money will not run for me. I will not build halfway. I will not be stranded financially. Money will not hinder me to do that which I planned for in life. Lord, by this seed, open doors. Let there be fulfillment to that expectations and desire. Grace to complete it. All projects receive it in Jesus' name. Remind that is not amen. Oh, <laughs> lift up your offering, Mama. Come and pray. Shall we rise with our offering? I decree upon you, you are lifted above the shackles of failure, you are lifted higher above the shackles of difficulty. As you embark in the journey of your destiny, you will not die premature. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord grant you all your heart expectations. In Jesus' name. Sit down. Ushers will direct you. Choir will sing for us. God bless you. You are worthy. Oh, yigi, yigi, adona. You are worthy, Jehovah Holy Eshadah. You are worthy. 